In the rapidly changing digital age, analog culture is receiving renewed attention as a way to revive dried up emotions. In addition to elderly generations, younger people more accustomed to digital culture are also increasingly enjoying analog culture. We investigated the reason. This building is located in a residential area of Yeonidong, Seoul. The shop is a film photography studio, a type of business largely taken over by digital cameras. What's more, it specializes in black and white pictures. Since opening in 2015, it's become Seoul's top black and white specialty studio. Why was it launched as a film photography studio when everything else has gone digital? Unlike film photography, digital photographic work is different. Deficiencies in the shots can be retouched. This leads to diminished attention when taking pictures. There was a desire to return to the roots. That's how the idea to operate a film photography studio came about. Black and white photos are taken with a limited number of cuts on film and developed and printed through an analog process in a dark room. Only three customers can make a reservation each day. At our studio, film is dried naturally for about a day. After that comes the printing process. It takes two or three hours to print a single image. Recently, black and white Polaroids, which are cheaper and quicker to take, have also become popular. With black and white Polaroids, a single photo can be taken right away, so it's much cheaper than film. Black and white Polaroids appeal to younger people since a single shot costs about $26. Couples often come to take a picture. Black and white Polaroids target younger generations with almost no memories of analog type photos. After taking pictures on my phone every day, it's nice to have one picture to keep. It can't be retouched, and the photo is one of a kind. It's very special, and I think it was a meaningful experience. An LP shop started business in Itaewon, a hot spot for young generations. LPs once completely eliminated from the record market represent the analog retro trend. Generally, everyone tends to listen to streaming music. But as recently as the 80s or 90s, LPs, cassette tapes, and CDs were the major developed formats which people purchased to consume. The shop was prepared so that customers could find happiness by purchasing and owning analog media like LPs and cassette tapes. About 800 customers visit each day on average. The unique tone of LPs not available with digital music is one of the reasons for their resurgence. I really like 70s and 80s music. It's different from listening to files. Listening directly to LPs offers an old-school feel, so it's enjoyable. Another reason for the growing popularity is a higher collectability factor among youths thanks to famous pop stars and top idol groups releasing limited edition LPs. Many customers buy LPs as goods. LPs or vinyl media are now being propagated as hip media, so it appears some people want to demonstrate purchasing turntables and LPs to listen to music. The popularity of LPs is a global trend. With LPs enjoying a second renaissance, a domestic LP factory, which shut down 13 years ago, recently reopened. The LP craze is expected to continue into the future. This transcription group has been going since last year. Most participants are office workers who make time to attend meetings. Rather than reading with their eyes only, transcribing each letter by hand offers mental stability. Reviews of transcription gatherings say that they offer the best rest of the week and that it was possible to be more immersed in reading. Offline gatherings are also a way to share warmth and companionship. 
People feel a sense of rest most of all. Daily life is so busy. People are practicing a slower lifestyle, such as a yoga life or healing life. The analog trend is expecting to continue, rather than becoming a passing fad. Human beings promote mechanization, but human thoughts or emotions therein were made since the past and grew from there. In line with mechanical development, analog thoughts will gradually survive. In the end, future success will depend on a fusion of digital devices and analog human sensibilities. It's important to live wisely in the digilog era. A return to analog culture amid the speed and convenience of the digital era could be seen as voluntary inconvenience.